my thing so I can get y'all out of y'all sleepy head. <laughs> now get y'all out of y'all docile state, man. You know, a lot of times, sometimes we should um, give it all praise to the most high in the sun. Uh, a lot of times we get caught up like what Christianity did for us. Just like what the Israelites are doing. They're caught up in uh, sorcery, magic, tricks. That's all it is. You can add all of them up together. They're just going to come out to be tricks. You trick somebody into believing something. Because we all thought we all came over from on slave ships. But they can't find one ship. Anybody know that? CGI, AI photos feature. It, that class coming next. No, no slave ships. Nobody under no ship for three months, man. It, it, it's impossible. It's impossible. It's impossible. So how else did the Israelites get over here, man? Are you serious right now? So if the Israelites didn't come on slave ships to the Americas, on slave ships, and they come as slaves, how else did the Israelites get over here? Did they swim over here? Did they fly over here? Because last time I checked, I just got to watching the video from the brother Amawana Bag. Right, he did a lesson on this subject. And many brothers have went into this. All right. <clears throat> on these knuckleheads here, man. These guys call themselves one body. All right. They bugged out anyway. But nevertheless, man, he went into a lesson uh, where it showed that uh, the first plane wasn't, didn't, you know, take flight until August 25th, 1919 from London, England to Paris, France. So how else did the Israelites get over here? So if the Israelites didn't come over here on slave ships, how else did they get over here? So I guess Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 68 is wrong. That's what these guys are saying. They can saying the Lord's word is wrong. Where the Lord says he will bring us into Egypt again. Egypt means bondage. Again, with ships. Well, I tell you, man. Through. I can tell you haven't done no research, all right? And we can tell by you, you haven't done no research. The Bible says to prove all things. And her, uh, this man over here, all right, the great millstone, starting with our elders and the apostles and the brothers on down, and of course the like-minded brothers that teach the likewise doctrine of the great millstone, we prove all things. And we filter them through the scriptures. You guys haven't brought out no one evidence yet to prove if you want to ask these guys how else did we get over here they wouldn't know they wouldn't have an answer but well i tell you man oh lord's got to stop y'all man y'all mouths got to be stopped Really? No one has did no research, proven any facts, bring any documentation. Why they don't have a manifest? How many? They'll give you what they want you to think, and you'll think it. That's what the television do for you. Oh, bro. That's what men do for you. You're going to find out today. We didn't, it, 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 let me tell you something. Whatever ways it means that some of these slaves got here, they wasn't called slaves at first. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Really? They were not called indentured servants. 
you're using that same damn terminology that Esau, even the so-called white man, tries to use so he can get his ass out of his punishment. That the so-called Negroes that came over here, they were nothing but indentured servants, all right, looking for a better life and looking for employment. Are you fucking serious right now, man? Really? <sighs> I can't listen to no more of this shit, man. Snock you. I can't I can't listen to no more of this, man, cause these these guys here, man, they fucking bugged out as hell, man. And oh, let me let me do my opening, man, before I get started with this quick lesson, man. Shaw one, shaw one. Call him you lie, how about some y'all shy about shin rock with dodge double lunch to the elves and the apostles? A great millstone who will shall on to the whole thing like that scatter broad. All right, this is the brother Gabar Yash coming back at y'all with another lesson through the spirit and power. Y'all by some y'all shot, no one's had to find the feet. The lens of y'all by some y'all shot through the spirit, recock with dash. I praise God to be able to find a scratch of the boy, man. And these guys are just these guys are bugged the fuck out, man. These guys ain't got it, they're paid off, man. You can tell these guys are bought and paid off, man. They took in the bag, all right? Because he used he said that the Israelites were they weren't called slaves at first; they were called indentured servants. Are you serious right now, man? Really? Are you kidding me? They were not indentured servants, man. They were slaves, man. Lord said He will bring us back into Egypt, which means bondage. Again, with shits, man. That's Deuteronomy 28 and 68, man. But before we get to scriptures, man, let's, let's uh, go here. Let's show you something. So I guess these pictures right here, you know what they say. And there's a song from Rod Stewart, man, from the 1970s. It says, every picture tells a story, man. And it does. Every picture tells a story. So... I guess this is not true, huh? I guess this never happened. Look at this. These Edomites throwing Israelites off the ships, man, overboard, man. And these Israelites either drowned or they were eaten by sharks, man. So I guess these pictures are false, though, right? Look at this. Let's see some. Look at this, man. So look at this. So I guess these this didn't happen. Let these guys tell it that that didn't happen. No, man, you know. <laughs> Come on, man. Let's get some more. Let's get some more pictures. Pictures are worth a thousand words, man. Look at this. Look at this, man. So I guess this never happened. Look at this. Cargo stacked on each other, man. Like cargo. Look at this. Evidence, man. Receipts. These are receipts, man. Let's get some more pictures, okay? Well, I tell you, man. These guys, look at this. Let's see. Uh, uh, see that? You see the uh, transatlantic slave trades. You see the map. All right. Let's get some more evidence. Uh, look at this. Look at this. Look at that, man. Look at this. Receipts, baby. Look at this. But let these knuckleheads tell her that that ain't never happened, man. There ain't no Israel guys working on no slave shit, man. Man, you guys need to shut up, man, for real. Look at this. Look at all these pictures. So I guess these pictures are lying, huh? So I guess these pictures, they're lying. So I guess the, the transatlantic slave trade never happened. According to them, that, that never happened. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I tell you. Them guys are bugged out, man. Bugged out. Let's see what else we got in here. Okay. Look at this. Man, all these mounting evidence, man. Hold on, let me see something. Here, let's see what this is. Look at it. So many books. There's too many books, man, on this subject. Too many books. 
But according to those guys, that never happened, though. What else? Let's see what else we got before we go to the scriptures. Let's see this. Look at that. That's an Israelite woman being hung from her foot. What else we got? Uh, look at this. But according to these guys, that never happened, though. All right, that's enough of that, man. Let's let's move on. Let's get some scriptures, man. All right. But these guys here, they they, they ain't got it, man. These guys are bugged out. The Lord is not dealing with these guys, man. Let's read this scripture first. All right, this is James chapter 1 and verse 8. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. And these guys are unstable, man. Okay? There are a whole bunch of books that was written about this a transatlantic slave trade, Israelites being transferred from South America, North America, Spain, all right, starting with the Northern Kingdom, man, all right, being transferred. And then Esau went to Africa, West Africa, and got the rest of the tribes, man, the Southern Kingdom, man, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, man, being transported from uh, uh, West Indies to the Caribbeans, to the Americas, etc., man. But let those guys tell it that didn't happen, though. Oh no, the slave trade that didn't happen. The Israelites didn't come over here as slaves, they came over here as indentured servants looking for a new life. That's the same effing terminology that Esau Edom used to try to get to try to wiggle his way out of his judgment because he knows his ass is gonna go into captivity next. Alright. Like it says, he that leadeth in the captivity shall go into captivity. That's these guys are trying to save Esau and them. You can tell they are. That's why they're saying that, oh, that never happened. That never took place. When there's a whole mountain of evidence, man. And you're talking about there's no proof of this. There's no proof of this happening. That's a lie, man. It's bullshit. But these guys, man, these guys are through. Okay? Through, man. All right? James 1 and 8 again. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. You guys are unstable. They're double-minded, man. All right? They ain't got it, bro. Let's get this. This is 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 13. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse. Deceiving and being deceived. These guys are waxing worse and worse, man. Okay. A lot of these guys are these guys are not meant to teach, man. They're not meant to teach. They really aren't. They're not meant to teach. And the Lord how about she y'all shy is gonna shut y'all mouths pretty soon, man. Y'all mouths must be stopped. Let's get that scripture, man. That's uh Titus 1. Titus 1 and let's see. Hold on. Uh, mm, yeah, I'm going to start verse 9. Titus 1 and verse 9. Holding fast the faithful word as he had been taught, that he may be able by sound doctrine both to exhort and to convince the gainsayers. And that's what we do, man. We hold faith to what we have learned. From our elders and the apostles and their bishops, man. All right? Sound doctrine to convince the gainsayers, man. Okay? Verse 10. For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision. And these guys are vain talkers, man. Ruly. They're took in the bag, man. Okay? All right? Verse 11, whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert whole houses, teaching things which they ought not for filthy lucre's sake. Yeah, and that's one body, man. All right? And that's just one of these groups, man. All right? You got the IUIC, ISUPK, but that's not important. We ain't talking about those guys, man. All right? We deal with those guys on a daily basis, man. We, we get on them guys, but this is, hey, we getting on these guys. Knuckleheads called one body. They used to be called one body under your house shot. Now they just call themselves one body. All right. 
And I think they done taught some other bo uh, bogus crap. Like, uh, I think Yahusha did witchcraft and all this other junk they taught. All this other madness that they teach, man. The Lord Yahweh about Shai is about to shut a lot of you pro false prophets up, man. That's why 1 Peter 4 and 17 reads the way it does, man. And it says that judgment are going to start at those that know they're Israelites, man. That's teaching false doctrine and, hey, teaching lies, man. Trying to put our people back to sleep, man. We're out here day in and day out, week in and week out, trying to wake our people up, man. And these knuckleheads are trying to put the people, our people back to sleep. You Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans back to sleep, man. By teaching that bogus crap that the Israelites didn't come on here on slave ships. Are you freaking serious right now, man? Ridiculous. You cannot make this shit up, man. Unbelievable. Let's read Titus chapter 1 and verse 11 again, man. Whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert whole houses teaching things which they ought not for filthy lucre's sake. Okay? These guys' mouths must be stopped, man. The Lord how about she outside has got to stop these guys from talking, man. Because, man. These guys, I tell you, boy. Wow. Unbelievable, bro. Um, let's see. Uh, looking for a particular scripture. Oh. Yeah, right here. Second Peter chapter two and verse one. But there, but there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you. Who privately shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the glory Shai that brought them, and bring upon themselves swift destruction. And that's what these guys are doing, man. They're going to bring upon themselves swift destruction, man. And they're leading a lot of sheep to the slaughter. They're not feeding the sheep. They're not, you know, comforting the sheep. They're leading the sheep astray. And the Lord, how about she outside is going to visit y'all, man, if y'all don't repent. Okay? Verse 2, and many shall follow their pernicious ways. You got a lot of folks that are following these guys, following these false teachers, these false prophets, these false Israelite camps, man. The ones that's telling you there's no Jacob's trouble. Y'all wish I did witchcraft. They're not this stuff. There were no slave ships. Slavery never happened. <laughs> we didn't come over here by slave ships, man. Unbelievable, man. Whoa. It's a headache, man. Hearing these guys talk is just unbelievable. And I wasn't even going to do a lesson on this, man. But the Spirit got on me to do it. So I'm doing it, man. So, hey, I'm going to do, hey, what the Spirit says, man. Y'all bust me on shot, man. All right. Second Peter's 2 and verse 2. And many shall follow their pernicious ways by reason of whom the way of the truth shall be evil spoken of. And that's what these guys are doing, man. That's what these guys are doing. Okay? These guys are going to bring upon themselves swift destruction, man. Let's get First Peter 4 and 17, man. Because, hey, this scripture is about to come to pass, man. You guys keep playing with the Lord. How about Shem Yon Shai, man? Y'all keep playing. <laughs> Y'all think the Lord how about she is playing with you guys, man. The Lord's not playing. Okay? First Peter 4 and 17. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh. And if he first began at us, what shall be the end of them that obey not the gospel of Yahweh, man? Judgment is going to start at those that know the Israelites and are teaching false doctrines, man. Teaching False wayward doctrines. Judgment is going to start at those guys, man, that are not warning the sheep or leading the sheep astray. Let's get Je uh, Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 1, man. Jeremiah 23 and verse 1. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastor, said the Lord Yahweh Shai. Verse 2. 
Therefore, thus said the Lord, how about shall have power in Israel against the pastors that feed my people. Ye have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doings, said the Lord, how about shall have So you guys, man, you guys better watch your mouths, man. Y'all condemning yourselves, bro. You're leading the sheep astray. And the Lord, how about she, y'all, is going to visit you guys, man. Hey. You been warned, man. That's all I got to say. Let's read this, man. Ezekiel chapter 14 and verse 9. And if the prophet be deceived when he has spoken a thing, I, the Lord, Yahweh, have deceived that prophet. Does it not say that the deceived and the deceiver are his? Yes, it does. That's Job. Let's just get it. I don't want to butcher. Let me come back to this. That's Job. I think it's Job 12 and... Uh, yeah, Gene, right here. Job chapter 12 and verse... Yeah, let's get straight to the point, man. Job chapter 12 and verse 16. With him is strength and wisdom. The deceived and the deceiver are his, man. So the Lord Yahweh has blinded these guys, man. That's why they don't have no understanding. Okay? Let's go back. Ezekiel 14 and verse 9. And if the prophet be deceived when the when he has spoken a thing, I, the Lord, how about she, how I have deceived that prophet? And I will stretch out my hand upon him and will destroy him from the midst of my people Israel. Okay? So, hey. A lot of you false prophets about to get ready to be judged, man. At least you repent, man. Okay? You better repent. All right? Verse 10, and they shall bear the punishment of their iniquity. The punishment of the prophet shall be even as the punishment of him that seeketh unto him. Yeah. All right. Not warning the sheep, man. Okay. Not telling the sheep the truth, man. Not telling us, our people, the truth, man, or who they are. And saying that, oh, the Israelites didn't come on here on slave ships, man. You guys... Okay, all right. <laughs> Verse 11, and that the house of Israel may go no more astray from me, neither be polluted any more with all their transgressions. But they that may be my people, and I may be their power, said the Lord, how about she, how shot? Okay, I know I butchered that scripture. Okay, but the Lord says, mark those that cause division, man. Let's get that scripture. Romans 16 and verse 17. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause division and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them. Avoid these guys, man. These guys are not looking out for your best interest. They're trying to put you Israelites back to sleep, man. Telling you that the transatlantic slave trade never happened. When there's a hundred books of the uh, transatlantic slave trade, man. So what the hell are these guys talking about? How else did we get over here, man? <coughs> oh, boy. Mm -mm -mm. Verse 18. For they that are such serve not our Lord Yahushua Hamashiach, but their own belly. These guys are not serving the power of Yahushua Hamashiach. They're serving their own belly. And they took that bag, man. The 501c3 charter. Being paid off, man. Okay? And by good words and fair speech deceive the hearts of the simple, which means the mind, man. All right? And they're, deceive, uh, they're deceiving, hey, the people that's following them. And anybody's following these guys, man, you might want to stop following these guys. Okay, one body. <laughs> Unbelievable. Talking about we didn't come over here on slave ships. Huh, man, get the fuck out of here. How else did we get over here? <laughs> I'd like to know. Please tell me. Because there was no airplanes. There was no, uh, what else? There were no cars. 
All right? There were ships. How else did we get over here, man? Ships, man. They had ships. And they was transporting things, man, like linen and all that stuff, man, on ships. Why you think it said, why you think it reads, uh, what's that scripture? Uh, let's go to it. I don't want to. Let's go to it. Revelation. Let's read Revelation 11. And let's start at verse 8, man. Revelation 11 and 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of that great of the great city, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord Yahushai Hamashiach was crucified, man. Okay? And that's talking about the Israelites, man, not knowing who we are. And that great city, which is Babylon, the great America, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. Sodom, because of the wicked el the uh, alphabet lifestyle that's practiced here in Babylon, the great America, and Egypt because of the bondage. Of the Israelites, man. We're still in captivity, man. All right? You Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay? Verse 9. And they are the people and kindreds and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three days and a half. That's 350 years. And shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in graves. These people didn't care about us, man. Okay? All right? These nations didn't care about us. These heathen nations and these Gentile nations. Okay? They was glad. They rejoiced when we went down as a nation, man. Okay? But the Wadi Habashin Yosha, they were waking up in the land of our captivity, man. Like it tells you in Baruch 2 and 30. Okay? Verse 10. And they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them and make merry and shall send gifts one to another. Wait a minute. How that happen? Through ships, man. And today you got cargo ships. You got planes now. But back then, all right, in the 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th century, how did those days were getting transferred? Through ships, man. Why do you think Revelation 18, and we're we going to get that, all right? We, let's, we gonna, let's finish reading this, though. And they shall send gifts one to another. Because these two prophets tormented them that dwell upon the earth. And those two prophets represent the northern and the southern kingdom, man. The Israelites, okay? Let's get Revelation 18. Watch this. Okay? Let's see where I want to start. Alright. Let's read Revelation 18, verse 11. And the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her. This is after the destruction of Babylon for no man buy their merchandise anymore verse 12 the merchandise of gold and silver and precious stone and of pearls and of fine linen and purple and silk and scarlet and all thine wood and all manner of vessels of ivory and all manners of vessels of most precious wood and of brass and iron and marble verse 13 and cinnamon and orders and ornaments, and frankincense, and wine, and oil, and fine flour, and wheat, and beasts, and sheep, and horses, and chariots, and slaves, and souls of men. Wait a minute. There it is, man. Okay? How else did they... <clears throat> Come on, man. Wow. Look at that. And this is after the destruction of Babylon, man. Okay? Alright? Today you can, you know, ship like this stuff, like on planes and stuff. Also on cargo ships, man. But before planes and cargo ships, they had ships, man. They were transferring, transferring all this stuff. Alright? On ships. Duh! Dumbasses, man. Well, I tell you, hold on, let me see something else. Ooh, let's read this. Let's go down. Um, let's see. Let me start at verse 15, man. Revelation 18 and 15. And the merchants of these things, which were made by rich of her, all right, Babylon the Great, shall stand afar off for the fear of her torment, weeping and wailing. Verse 16, and saying, Alas, alas, that great city that was clothed in fine linen and purple and scarlet and decked with gold and precious stone and pearls. 
Verse 17, for in one hour so great riches is come to naught, and every shipmaster, uh-oh, wait a minute, say what? And every shipmaster and all the company in ships and the sailors as many as trade by sea stood far off. How you think the Israelites got over here, man? By slave ships. Good grief. It's like we <laughs> it's like we're talking to first graders here, man. <laughs> Golly. Makes no sense. And cried when they saw the smoke of her burning, saying, What city is like unto this great city? That's the destruction of Babylon, man. Okay? All right? They're not going to be able to ship, you know, export, import goods. All right? How America got rich. How do you think Babylon the Great America got rich? Through the transatlantic slave trade, man. That was a business. Transferring slaves, man. We read that in verse what? Go back up. Verse 13. Slaves and souls of men. Duh. Unbelievable, man. Let's keep it moving, bro. I'm getting heated, man. <laughs> Unbelievable. <sighs> Let's start here. Let me read. Let me read verse sixty-four, man. Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight, verse sixty-four. And the Lord Yahweh shall scatter thee among all people. How we were scattered among all people? How? How we were scattered amongst all people, man? From the one end of the earth even unto the other, and there, and there thou shalt serve other gods which thou, which thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. How were we scattered? How else did we get amongst other nations? Did we walk? I'll wait. Anyway, let's continue, man. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord Yahweh shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Egypt means bondage, slavery. Again with ships. This was a future prophecy that happened. But let one body said, Oh, that didn't happen, man. No, that ain't happened. We didn't come over here by no slave ships. We were indentured servants looking for a better life. And, <laughs> oh, man. Well, I tell you, you, man, you guys got to be stopped, man. You guys that are teaching false doctrine, y'all got to be stopped, bro. For real. Unbelievable. <sighs> anyway, Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. And the Lord Yahweh shall, shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships, by the way whereof I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again, the land of Israel. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen, slave men, <clears throat> excuse me, slave men, and bondwomen, slave woman, and no man shall buy you. And you look up to that word by, the word by goes into the word redeem, man. You will not be redeemed out of captivity until Yahweh Shai comes back. So what the hell are these guys talking about, man? Really? And if anybody's still following these guys, man, then hey, the Lord ain't really going to want you no way, man. If you following these false Israelite camps that's not teaching you the correct doctrine, if you ain't following... GMS, Great Millstone, the brothers of Great Millstone, starting with the elders and the apostles, elder bishops, elder brothers, the brothers on down, of course, the like minded brothers that teach the likewise doctrine of Great Millstone. Then the Lord just ain't, Lord just ain't dealing with you. You hopscotching from one Israelite camp to another, and the Lord ain't dealing with you, man. Okay? All right? Malachi 3 and verse 18. Then shall ye return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serveth Yahweh and him that serveth him not. It should be loud and clear, man. Plain as daylight. Who's teaching you true? Who's not? Okay? Isaiah 56 and verse 10. And I ain't intending to make this lesson long, man. But that's okay. His watchmen are blind. 
They are all ignorant. They're like all dumb. They are all dumb dogs. These guys are. Psh, wow. Excuse me. They cannot bark, sleeping, lie down, loving to slumber. That's that's one body. And not just those guys, man. Alright? The purple people, the uh, leather wearing people, you know who we talking about, man. I ain't going to name no names. All right. Verse 11. Yay, they are they are greedy dogs which can never have enough. They are shepherds that cannot understand. These guys have no understanding. Like it tells in Sirach chapter uh what's that? 39 verse 24. As his ways are plain to the holy, they are stumbling blocks into the wicked. The Lord has put a stumbling block, a slumber, a blindfold over these guys, man. Well, these guys can't get the truth, man. They can't receive it. Okay? Like it says, uh, what's that scripture? I'm going to get it. Hold on. Let me finish reading this. Verse 11. Isaiah 57, verse 11. Yea, they are greedy dogs which can never have enough. They are shepherds that cannot understand. They are they all look to their own way, everyone for his gain, for his quarter. And that's what these guys are looking for, man. Gain. Money. They ain't trying to wake up the sheep, man. Okay? This is uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 3. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. And these guys, they're lost. At least they repent, man. They got a chance. I highly doubt it. But nevertheless, man. Hey, it's on them. Verse 4. And whom the power of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not. Least the light of the glorious gospel of Hamashiach Yahushai, who is the image of Yahweh, should shine unto them. At least these guys repent, man, then hey. And what meant for them to wake up? Okay. Let's read this last scripture and I'm going to end it here, man. Isaiah 22 and verse 17. Behold, the glory of Hashem will carry thee away with a mighty captivity and will sh surely cover thee. How that happened? Through the slave ships, man. And we proved that. Through pictures and imagery, man. Like I said, pictures are worth a thousand words, man. Okay? Every picture tells a story. That's a song from Rod Stewart. Alright? Verse 18. He will surely violently turn and toss thee like a ball into a large country. How that happened? Through the slave ships, man. To the large country, America, Babylon the Great. There thou shalt die, and there, and there the chariots of thy glory shall be the shame of thy Lord's house. Okay? So there you go, man. And I'm in the lesson here, man. I ain't intend this lesson to be long. I done made my points, all right? So with that, I'm going to end it here, man. I pray this lesson was edifying. All praises and glorifications go to Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh, Shai, by Shem Rekak, with Dash, Double Lungs, to the Elves, and the Apostles, the Great Millstone, with Well, Shang Wong, to the Whole for Let, to next time, Shang Wong, Kwame Yashrala, and Wild Baba Ball. And to one body, you guys either repent or y'all going to be destroyed, man. Shang Wong.